hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am introducing a new series on my channel that i'm extremely excited about which i have called back to basics an original i know but you know what um it's what we're gonna call it back to basics because i realized that when i do makeup looks and do foundation reviews some of you guys don't have a clue about what i'm talking about so i thought let me take these guys back to basics you know back to the beginning and explain to you things in a very simple way not assuming that you know anything at all and then you know we just keep um building up on the basics so today i decided to start with skincare because i think it's as basic as it gets although skincare is so so wide i kind of just want to get you guys started and break things down for you so that you know just to kind of point in that right direction in fact even if you want to do more research on top of this then this video will point you in the direction of research that you should go that you should follow yeah so okay let's go ahead and get started so i have my notes here so if i look down it's because i'm looking down at my notes oh actually before i forget i should have led with this you guys i'm going to start um an email list a mailing list so i'm going to put a link in the description box down below where you guys can sign up and put in your emails to join my email list because i want to be like doing some writing writing is something that you know i've always loved i, I like writing and like it's so easy for me to get my thoughts down on paper or in a document and i kind of want to diversify and um, talk about more topics other than just beauty or even just beauty but go really in depth so i'm going to be sending you guys like some motivational emails you know of the podcasts i'm listening to um the quotes i'm loving and then like i want us to also be doing challenges like 30 day self-discipline challenge you know things like those because i want um our community to become tighter you know you know so i'm going to explain all this in the first email i'll send you so just leave me your email address by following the link down below and i'll explain all of this so now let's get into the real agenda of today so skincare first makeup second if you want your your skin to look good no if you want your makeup to look good then your skin has to look good so the first thing when it comes to skincare is know your skin um sorry i should not be drinking on camera okay so first is to know your skin when i say know your skin i mean you should know your skin type are you normal are you dry are you normal to dry are you combination are you sensitive are you oily basically what's your skin type i, I feel like that's the first that's the starting point when it comes to skincare um because this is like a foundation it will help you pick the makeup you buy it will help you pick the skincare that you decide to use so this is really like the foundation which is to know your skin type and i did a really in-depth video on this which i'm going to link right here and also in the description box for you to go and see the kind of techniques you can use that will make sure that you know your skin type at the end of doing those those two techniques so other than knowing your skin type i think just overall knowing your skin um i mean you know sometimes different things internally affect how our skin looks and sometimes we have to be keen about it so diet you know certain things in your diet when you're actually making an effort to get to know your skin then you'll realize that when you eat this food you break out or when you eat this food you break out so you know you try and eliminate those foods so that you know your skin can clear um also hormonal uh you can try and determine and see whether you only break out your breakouts are caused by hormonal imbalance or just for you to overall know that your breakout is caused let's say when it's that time of the month so you know you're going to break out it's basically just studying your skin like when you change something uh when you change your diet when it's a certain time in the month you know like how is your skin responding you know so that's what i mean when i say knowing your skin and then if you have acne because i'll always talk about acne guys i've been there i'm still there though we're recovering quite well 
Um, I think you, you should make an effort to try and discover what the root cause of your acne is and i think i've said this on your on my on your channel on my channel that acne is almost all actually always uh because of something that's going on in your body so more often times more often than not you'll have to change your diet or change certain things for you to be able to clear your skin but acne honestly that's a whole other series on its own and i plan to be sharing a few things about acne things that i learned oh my gosh see i watch so many videos on nini acne so in the newsletter i can be sharing with you guys those things um those links uh the diet and all that stuff so yeah i think that's more or less the first part of skincare is just knowing your skin get to know your skin next up is a skincare regimen i feel like i've sung the, about this on my channel before you should definitely have a skincare regimen in place but the point of back to basics is for me not to make it seem complicated for you guys so i don't want to sit here and tell you guys oh the nine step korean skincare is it nine step or eight step or ten step i don't know <laughs> but you know you do this and this da, 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 all this and then that's when your skin that is skincare no i want to simplify it as much as possible basically you should have a skincare regimen for the morning and for the night it's the exact same thing you're doing morning and night it's just that you you do it twice a day skincare regimen can be as simple as you want it to be it doesn't actually have to be so difficult and you don't have to have like a bathroom full of products it can be as simple as you want it to be generally in skincare <clears throat> there are usually three steps or there have been for some time which is cleansing basically just cleaning the face toning and then moisturizing so sometimes people do away with the toning and just do um cleansing and moisturizing and i'm sure when you hear these things you think you know you have to go to the shops to this to the to, to a store to a supermarket and buy you know like these store bought products but that's that's not the case at all because sometimes i feel like people complicate skincare so much you know it can be as simple as washing your face with soap not that soap for washing the body but you know like a black soap or there's a cadaver soap for the face washing your face and then putting like some oil on it it can be as simple as that but if you don't have a skincare regimen now try implementing one and you'll definitely see some change in your skin even if you don't have like blemishes or acne or anything like that it will just give you a glow your skin will be healthy and it will give back to you so let's talk about cleanser so you cleanse in the morning when you get up and you cleanse in the night when you're going to bed but i think the most important is you cleanse when you're going to bed because during the day you've you've you have, you've you have so much dirt on your face from the day you know so sometimes actually people skip morning cleanser because they say you know that their skin doesn't get dirty throughout the night but i'll just recommend you do you cleanse in the morning and in the night it can be like i said you can use soap i just don't recommend that you use the soap that you use you know for the body because it's so harsh it strips your your skin of its natural oils and it just dries out your skin mm -mm so you can try things like black soap these natural soaps like turmeric soap those soaps can definitely be a good um cleanser option and the best part is that they're actually affordable so you can also use natural you can also make your own cleanser in fact i have a video that i did kitambo um which i can link here i loved that cleanser so so much and the only reason i stopped using it is because it was so tedious to make but if you have the time and the patience to make it every two weeks or every week then you should go and watch that video i'll link it here and in the description box down below so you can make cleansers if you want to using natural ingredients so when i when i say skincare regimen it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money that's the, basically the point i'm trying to put across so you could even do um, honey honey is a good cleanser yani just pure honey you use it to wash your face you could use um, coconut oil pure coconut oil to cleanse your face it's like oil cleansing um, what else what else let me look at my notes here mm, 
you can also use castor oil jojoba oil that's still part of oil cleansing uh you can even mix things you know coconut oil and honey there's so many natural ways to cleanse even yogurt that's a weird one i saw some someone who uses yogurt so yeah and then of course also you can buy a cleanser in the store most uh, most of the times cleansers or brands usually make a full skincare range so in case you're lazy like i am <laughs> then you could just go directly into the store and buy the full range the cleanser the toner the moisturizer one time you know so then after that is toner Toner initially used to be for restoring the pH balance of your skin because cleansers used to be very harsh and some of some cleansers to date are still very harsh so they alter the pH of your skin so when you use a toner it kind of helps to restore that pH balance and then on top of that it helps to minimize pores you know sometimes the pores can be huge a toner can help to shrink those pores what else it could also be used like as a second step cleanser because it you sometimes the cleanser doesn't remove all the dirt and then the toner helps with that so again here you could go store bought there are so many varieties of toners in the market but like i said if you know your skin if you know your skin type and you know your skin's needs then it's going to be very easy for you to pick a cleanser in the a, yeah a cleanser a toner in the store that suits your needs suits your skin suits your skin type so a toner can also be natural you don't have to go buy one in store you could dilute some apple cider vinegar and use that as toner some people swear by that um, some people in fact say it helps to clear acne you can also use things like rose water uh, what else things like rosemary water i've heard of rosemary water you know that 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 nini, that plant smells so good huh? you put it in some <clears throat> boiling water and use that as a toner if you google these things i'm telling you the results are there there are so many results so that you can come up with a natural like i think the rosemary water is like a hydrating toner so if you have dry skin you'd gravitate towards that if you have oily skin then you will find natural toners online for sure then there is moisturizer again it can also be store-bought and you know the thing nowadays is that the store-bought products are not so expensive nowadays because i feel like there's a time skincare was really expensive you want to find a cleanser and a toner and a moisturizer and you really have to budget and now you can actually go into the store and find some pretty affordable things um, that are also good but for moisturizer you can also go the natural way there's always a natural way whether you don't want store-bought products or whether you're on a strict budget because you could use oils like jojoba oil argan oil avocado oil on your face um so, some of those oils are really good jojoba oil is just so good and they say like it mimics the natural oils that your face produces so it doesn't feel greasy um coconut oil olive oil many people say you shouldn't use that as your moisturizer because it's what you call comodogenic is that the word anyways it will clog your pores and it will cause you to break out so coconut oil and olive oil mm, if you have acne prone skin or sensitive skin then maybe stay away from those ones and if you have oily skin because maybe someone is like i have oily skin there is no way i'm putting oils on my <laughs> on my skin but there are actually some oils that are that actually work for oily skin argan oil is good for oily skin hemp seed oil is good for oily skin there's another one rose hip rose hip oil is also good for oily skin and sunflower oil so you could always google and see the oils that will work for you for oily skin don't make you like over oily so again for moisturizer you can definitely find something okay and then we have how to remove makeup because that's part of skincare because when i'm talking about morning and nighttime routine in the nighttime you might have one makeup during the day and you have to take it off so i usually count that as its own step makeup removal it's not i usually don't necessarily count it as part of skincare because it's the step you do before you get 
into your skincare regimen so taking off the makeup is really easy again an oil goes a long way and in fact i've done a whole video on this so there are going to be so many resources in the description box below so that you can go deeper but um you use an oil to break down the makeup and then use a wipe alcohol free because alcohol tends to dry out the skin and then after that you can go straight ahead into cleanser or if you want heavy makeup and you not just uh, you don't just trust that the wipe has done well enough you could always go in with something like micellar water or makeup remover to make sure all the makeup is off and then after that now you can go into your cleanser toner moisturizer or cleanser moisturizer whichever you've decided in fact, if you have the regimen and you don't even do the masks and the whatnot and the whatnot, your skin will already be looking so good. But now, every so often, like once a week, you could throw in a mask. There are these sheet masks that I've seen being sold for so cheap, 200, you know, or the natural masks. Oh my God, I love natural masks so much, you know, to mask based on, again, your skin and what your skin needs. Whew, I have talked a lot. So this was kind of just like an introduction into skincare. I, ho I hope what you've basically taken away from this is just that you need to know your skin and then you need to come up with um, a regimen for morning and night based on your pocket, based on your skin type, based on what your skin needs and based on what you're comfortable with. Because uh, skincare at the end of the day can be so enjoyable. Sometimes I like it more than makeup and it gives back. You take care of your skin and it will show. Um, but I think that's it. I think I would want to go deeper into these things because there's so many things on skin oh, skin care <laughs> on skin care that I haven't touched on like exfoliation and then the masks and even just the skin types and what the different skin types need but from this video at least you can be pointed in the right direction and if you have any anything here in skincare that you'd want me to like do a whole in-depth video on then you can actually leave me a comment down below like say joanna expound on uh, moisturizing for oily skin or expound on cleansers or on the oil cleansing method so just leave me those comments down below so that I can know what to expand on <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of reading and taking even a few beauty courses and skin courses of late so that's even why I started this back to basics because even me I've, I've, I've been refreshing my basics and I definitely want to share with you guys okay that is it um video done guys subscribe to my mailing list so that i can be sending you a newsletter i haven't decided whether to be doing it twice a week once a week i don't know maybe to start with once a week like just to dip my toe in but yeah i wanted to to be like a like a community kind of you know i bring up a topic and it just it sparks a conversation that's basically what i'm going for so subscribe to the mailing list and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one